I'm Richard Lindley. For over 30 years, I've been a television journalist for BBC Panorama and ITN News. Now I'm 83 and I have dementia, but I still have many friends I enjoy talking to. Today, my friend is Tom Wakeley. Tom, just what does music mean to you? Music means to me everything, Richard. It's what I do for a living. I work as a coach, vocal coach at RADA with the singing teachers. I do lots of cabaret, playing the piano for various artists. And of course, music was the reason that we got together in the very first place. A long time ago, when I was doing the musical Chicago at the Adelphi Theatre, I used to work between shows on a Saturday with a mutual friend of ours, Lizzie Loxham. And one day she said to me, I'm going out to dinner with some friends later on. Do you mind if I bring them to our session? I said no, and of course it was yourself and Carol who came. So, as I always do, I said, come on, join in with me for this vocal warm-up. You both stood up, and it was very clear to me very quickly that you had a beautiful voice and Carol had lots of wonderful enthusiasm. And from there, we went on and our friendship blossomed. And after, oh, I think it was many weeks, Carol came up with this idea of having a musical salon. I didn't know what she meant at first, but she said, look, I'll get together all the guests, you can teach them to sing, and then we'll put on this music at our flat in Covent Garden. Well, we, we did that, and we had the most wonderful time, and I think it surprised everybody just how well people can sing. Because that's really, I suppose, what I love about music most, is that it's open to all of us, and I know that you love singing as well. And I remember at that soiree, Carol started the whole thing by singing Irving Berlin's from Call Me Madam, the hostess with the mostess. And we changed the words a little bit to fit with Carol, and it was such a success. And then I think the two of you finished with the duet at the end of the evening. And it was such a great success that from that, the idea came to surprise you on your 70th birthday with a very special gift. So what Carol and I did was we coached many of your friends to sing some of your favourite songs because you arranged this very special birthday present for all your friends to take them to the BFI to see one of your favourite films, Kiss Me Kate. And then you'd hide the restaurant over the road and we all went over, but unbeknown to you, Carol and I had imported a grand piano. So I hid and then when Carol stood up to make the speech, she said a few words but I ran out, played the arpeggio on the piano, and this is what she sang. Why can't you behave? Oh, why can't you behave? After all the things you told me And the promises that you gave Oh, why? Just as you should Won't you turn that new leaf over So your baby can be your slave Oh, why can't you behave Very good, lovely. But I think that's enough self-indulgence <laughs> from my part anyway. That was the song that Carol started your birthday present with. And then two of my friends from Chicago ran out and they sang From This Moment On. And then the, the male, Alex Weatherhill, he, stood, he sat on the table in front of you and he started singing uh, Brush Up Your Shakespeare. And very quickly, another of your friends joined with a second line and rather took you by surprise. And I think you said something like, sit down, you're... Well, maybe I shouldn't say it on the podcast, but you can imagine what Richard said. Uh, and that carried on then for several of your friends joining in to sing Brush Up Your Shakespeare. When that song had finished, then the table with your daughter on and several of her girlfriends, somebody stood up, banged the table and said, I hate men, and continued to do that song. Joe sang the song, but I'm awfully glad that mother had to marry father. And then for the final one, we did Tom, Dick and Harry. 
And the end of the seven minutes of music was your lovely wife, Carol, who stood up and she said, I'll take Dick. And so that was the end of the present. It was a real success and we had a wonderful time. And that really sowed the seeds for everything else that came afterwards. Now, one of my favourites that you sang once was this song. It's called When You're In Love. So music is so important to us and I'm really pleased to say now that, that Carol has said that you're going to sponsor some music for dementia, which we're going to start at the CAA October the 7th is the first one in the afternoon, it'll be a Monday afternoon and I hope that we'll, we'll provide some music with some really superb singers that people will love and will enjoy and probably join in with. Back in 2011, you helped to organise the music for your 75th birthday. Again, we watched the film, that was the film Seven Brides for Seven Brothers, and then some of your guests sang some of the songs. Maybe you remember this one. They say when you marry in June, you're a bride all your life. And the bridegroom who marries in June gets a sweetheart for a wife. Lovely. Mm. Oh. Really super. Yes, yes. What is the most satisfying to play? Satisfying to play? That's a, that's a great question. I think for me, I, I enjoyed working on the show Chicago because we had proper pianos. And of course, it's really good music, the music of um, John Kander and really well-known tunes. And to get that response from the audience, and you probably remember on the show Chicago, the band was on stage. So in fact, we felt exactly what the audience felt and what the actors felt, perhaps more important. Just that great sense of being together and everybody was one with the music and I hope that's the sort of thing that we can recreate at the CAA in Covent Garden when we do the the music for dementia concerts or afternoons whatever we decide to call them um, you've sung on many occasions with Carol since uh, I'm thinking now of that lovely time when we were we were celebrating Carol's CBE and in fact, he, he had my son to sing. He sends his regards. He's singing for Opera Holland Park tonight. And uh, he asked to be remembered to you. You probably wouldn't recognise his voice now. But you were singing, and we sang at the birthday party, the last one. It was the Singing in the Rain medley that we did. And there was this lovely song that you and Carol sang together. You are my lucky star I saw you from afar To love 
lovely eyes at me, they were gleaming, beaming. I was dusted. You're all my lucky Heaven's portal here on earth for this poor mortal. You are well, I guess of, of the many duets that you've done together, this one has to be one of the favourites. Now, can you hear it? Here it goes. Singing and there's no one there I smell blossoms and the trees are there All day long I sit to walk on air I wonder why, I wonder why I keep tossing in my sleep at night And once more I've lost my appetite Stars that used to twinkle in the skies are twinkling in my eyes. I wonder why. And Carol sings, it appealing and analyzing. It is not so surprising that you feel very strange but nice. Your heart goes pit a patter and it just what's the matter? Because I've been there once or twice. Head on my shoulder, you need someone who's older. I rub down with a velvet glove. There is nothing you can take to relieve that pleasant ache. You're not sick, you're just in love. I think we need some more coaching on that one, don't we? <laughs> just a bit. That was a lovely moment. One of the favourites, certainly. Oh, wonderful, wonderful show. Richard, it's a pleasure. 